Hey there, Raponi, this is Potter Brony, and welcome to another band reaction of some LP fan work. This time we have Everything Wrong With the Season 4 Finale, Parts 1 and 2 of Twilight's Kingdom by Little Shy FIM. As always, link in the description below. Be sure to support your be sure to support the official releases of that. Check them out there. If you already haven't, I don't whatever. Uh yeah, let's just get it started and see what he's got in store for us. So Starting with number one, in three, two, one, and go. All right. Seems like only yesterday I was saving this place from being totally destroyed. Every pony is really starting to regret letting Spike believe this. You get to smile and wave like a princess. How exactly is that different than smiling and waving like not a princess? There are two types of people in the world. Those who have seen the princess diaries and those who haven't. Why the yeah. It's because of insensitive Apple jokes clearly like that. seldom see horses in Equestria. That's odd. Yeah. The episode is blank Racist. for about two seconds, a minute and a half in. There's just nothing there for a moment. Random, rebellious background pony refuses to face forward. Applejack's <laughs> pose suddenly resets as we fade to black. These Twilight wings. Spoilers, Twilight never does get her own kingdom, as the title implies. Couldn't one of the royal guard have unfurled the banner? Yes, True, but we she just gets to a castle. How many things we could get you to do? Cadence is cutie mark, occasionally changeling. I, I mean, changes. It's a good thing Twilight's about to <laughs> sing a song, otherwise, turning her back on the others and walking away would have been extremely rude. No, wait, it's still pretty rude. It isn't that I'm ungrateful. It isn't that I'm ungrateful, but I don't want to get political, but I'm not racist, but I understand wanting Celeste yeah. would be like, yep, that's my greedy sister, all right? <laughs> Old news. T-Rex's breath only condensates while the hood is up, because that's how he hides his vape pen. Also, his beard is clearly not mm, moving while he's in here, but once his face is visible, it does. We cut to a close-up shot, because otherwise we'd see T-Rex talking while doing this. Princess Celestia sits yeah, in weird. royal garb. Meanwhile, Princess Luna sleeps outside Celestia's door. <laughs> Luna's mane gets stuck in the door. This was not a dream, but a vision. Visions are oh, clipping. and this raises a lot of questions and a lot of plot convenience. Even befriending a young unicorn wizard. Yes, because Star Swirl looks so young here. And yeah. Turek was sent to Tartarus for his crimes. His only crime being conspiracy to take over Equestria. He hadn't actually done anything yet, and for that, his punishment was literally being sent to hell. Nice justice system you have there, Celestia. The hey, ancient text are you going to argue with the princesses? For the show is a picture book. Of course you are. Also, this is clearly supposed to be the same book the show opens on, but there are a few differences. The least of which definitely isn't the fact it's facing the wrong way. Canterlot may or may not be missing, so it's a different depending book. on how nitpicky you want to get. But one sin that's undeniable is the return of this green squiggly line. Green squiggly line. What if what's locked inside <laughs> is something that could help her prove her royal worth? That's right, kids. If you don't buy the new playset that's locked inside this chest, you're letting down Twilight Sparkle. Blight Scooter. Yeah, don't make her, her sad. The greatest crossover since Marvel's Infinity War. Discord leaves notes in the oh, script. To I actually did not know that all this time. <laughs> We I wouldn't miss it. Or a Klondike bar. I think the reformed Discord is more obnoxious than the before he was reformed Discord. Yeah, you know, I much prefer the Discord who enslaved and tormented all of Equestria for a thousand years. Discord talks to yeah, an old friend. Yeah, it was much less obnoxious. Session. The only deviation from reality here is that the old friend doesn't run in the opposite direction. Discord is swayed to the yeah, dark that's side why it's fantasy. too easily. It would make more sense if we saw him slowly change sides, or if we saw him display some more hesitation about ponies prior to this. But instead, he's depicted as a gullible fool, changing sides quicker than, well, any villain in Equestria Girls. How could I forget? Hmm. He was one of the hardest things I ever had to do. Clip show alert. Run for cover. Take shelter in your new <laughs> tree run. But maybe there's something special about those objects that could lead us to the location of the keys. I know it sounds crazy. Finding deep meaning but it's like an entire clip show. Is literally so. the definition of crazy. There must be a connection. Come on, Twilight. Surely some pony as book smart as you would know correlation does not imply causation. Boneless turns into a key right away, but these items don't. I haven't. 
If I had, I would have written about it in the journal. Maybe it's the journal then. It's not, but they don't know that. If this episode played out realistically, they'd be throwing things at the box all day to see what sticks. We must True. rid ourselves of our magic before Tyrek has the chance to steal it from us. Behold, logic almost as sound as Equestria's justice system. To be continued. Yeah. To be fair, I'm going to talk about that in a second. Smile and wave. As yeah. in Discord? Discord? Yes. There must be something in this library that can help me figure out how to open it. The answer's in one of these books. I just know it. Perfect. There you go. That works. Alright, so that was part one of Everything Wrong with Twilight's Kingdom. Or Everything Wrong with Twilight's Kingdom part one. Uh, yeah, let's just talk about... Should I talk about it after the second one? Because that's when it really comes up. Yeah, I'm going to talk about it after the second one. Because that's when it really comes up. You'll know what I mean when I get there. So, uh, that was interesting, yeah. Let's just get it started with episode, with part two of Everything Wrong with Twilight Kingdom. In three, two, one, and go. Princess Twilight! <gasps> Previously on My Little Pony, these sparkle wings. Our magic cannot just disappear into thin air. Except for when it does by the end of the episode. We do not believe that Tyrek is aware that... Yeah, but that didn't disappear into thin air. That went back to the people. Why would they the assume bonus? this? Princess Twilight is plastered all over Equestria by now. In fact, that's, that's exactly how Tyrek does later find out. This is kind of the point that I was going to be making, but another point as well. where it is gone. That is, until Discord tells him. Suppose you can't expect perfect memory when you're thousands of years old. Taking on this task yeah. will be one of the most difficult things I will ever do. I'll take things people never say unless they're in a trailer for 600, Alex. But you must keep your new abilities a secret. Celestia keeping the main six from doing their thing makes her the true villain of the episode. I fear that oh. your friends being aware of your Didn't new think about it like that. put them at great risk. Um, no. They wouldn't be at any greater risk than for simply knowing a princess. Their friendship is, of course, no secret in Equestria. This oddly That's, terrifying uh... viewing angle. Luna's Fair ink point. blot isn't part of her cutie mark, at least not until later in the show. It's not like this is right. the first time she moved the sun and moon. Some pony had to have done it after she left Canterlot in the daylight, and it sure wasn't Celestia or Luna. Not an uncommon sight during cider season. What have you done? Just look at that face. I defeated myself, so you can't. Take that. Knowing that soon <laughs> every Pegasus, unicorn, and earth pony will bow to my will. Soon? You're literally sitting on the throne right now, Tyrek. Give my regards to Cerberus. Hello, Cerberus. You apparently know a way out of here, and you seem friendly enough towards ponies. Care to help us out? Discord withholds and that would be good, information but... because he does not yet fully trust Tyrek. Yet he's more than happy to betray his friends and all of Equestria. Also, he does indeed fully trust T-Rex after being gifted a worthless trinket. I'm sure Discord will catch T-Rex and this will all be over soon. If the ponies have been following T-Rex takeover at all, then no Discord betrayed them long ago. Even Twilight's brother knows already. Widely spaced yeah. jail bars claim six more apparently gullible victims. Discord's betrayal may be shocking now, but at the time this episode aired, the ponies had literally no reason to trust him. This is all Fluttershy's fault for going out of her way to befriend a known villain. Discord has more than 10 seconds to act before his magic is taken, and yet he does nothing to stop T-Rex. Lord of Chaos, everyone. Discord's chaos magic can do almost anything imaginable, but it's not powerful enough for T-Rex to grow more than a few inches. Sure. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. He should, he should have now is not the time. almost doubled in but size there. he's also kind of right on the money, because seeing this coming is the whole reason Discord didn't tell Tyrek about Twilight at first. For a moment, we can hear Twilight talking even after she's teleported. Tyrek appears to find Twilight by random chance. Technically, it's likely that Discord's magic oh. allowed Tyrek to detect her, but that's not explained here at all. Half a sin for that, and half a sin just because. Biggest trap of the show aside, the smoke movement doesn't match the camera pan. Also, because we needed a new toy, we get the biggest tragedy of the show. Twilight's teleportation is laying yeah. under the books for some reason. 
if Twilight's not casting this protection <laughs> spell, who is? Tyrek and Twilight put their epic fight on pause to listen to this emotional moment. The moral here is that her friends are more important than her magic. But what she apparently doesn't realize is that magic is the only thing that can save all of Equestria, including her friends. And she's supposed to be the smart one. Tyrek acts surprised when Twilight says Discord's still a friend, but Tyrek is the one who spawned him as one of the friends taken hostage. Keyhole can't decide what shape it wants to be. We interrupt this episode to bring you another toy commercial. This transformation comes out of nowhere, doesn't make any sense, and is practically never seen again. Obligatory. Buy our toys! <laughs> I carry within me the most powerful magic of all. What is she talking about? She doesn't know it yet, but this magic was planted here over a thousand years ago by the pillars of old Equestria. Ever since becoming a princess, Twilight's been doing a lot of winging it. This extreme wide shot is yeah, the Crystal see what Empire. you did there. Tartarus was not kind to Princess Luna. This ridiculous, oh convoluted excuse to give Twilight a shiny new playset actually goes against existing canon. They spend a lot of time and effort restoring the old castle of the two sisters, and it would make so much more sense if that became Twilight's new castle. Instead, Hasbro demanded a new toy, and this one is left to further rot. The new yeah, castle is so amazing, that. you might say it's jaw-dropping. I don't know about you, but all I'm seeing <laughs> is Hasbro giving us the finger. <laughs> Great, I never even saw that. That was your plan. It was at this moment that Twilight knew. She bucked up. You weren't gone very long. Does that mean everything's okay? Yep, everything's fine. <laughs> Yeah. All right. To talk about a couple of things on that one. Main, not about this itself. He raised a very good point as to why would they assume that Tyrek doesn't know Twilight is a fourth princess if they truly believe Discord had fully embraced his new partner and told him everything. Uh, that aside. I'm going to bring this up again. Uh, there have been a lot of people that have been talking about how... You know, they had... This, this goes back to an early episode of season one. and Season, season four. Uh, when they had the Pony of Shadows. And then showed a mysterious figure in the castle. As they were... Uh, as they were talking, there was a shadowy figure with glowing eyes, and people were saying, that must be Tyrek. Well, let me to reiterate again, I do not believe that was Tyrek, because Tyrek... And no matter how you say, maybe he just didn't notice. Yeah, he was looking right at them. He was right there. You're not going to notice an alicorn. Now, I know that the show has a bunch of people just... A bunch of ponies just ignoring the fact that, hey, Twilight's an alicorn. Uh, it's pretty inconsistent in that sense, where, you know, it goes... Sometimes they freak out, and he's like, oh, Princess Twilight, and then other times it's like, she's just another pony. She's freaking royalty now, so, uh... Whatever. Um... Yeah, just gonna... Just wanted to bring that up. Um... But yeah, he, he, he's, got, he's got a good point. Why would they have assumed that... Tyrek wouldn't know about Twilight. That whole plan didn't make any sense. Uh, now, if the plan was to, you know, give her all the magic and then hide her somewhere where Tyrek couldn't get to her, that'd be different. But it's still, you can't defeat me because I defeated me type of mentality. It's just... Yeah, I did it my, to myself, so you're not the one who's going to win. Although, yeah, it prevents him, it prevented him from getting that magic. So I can see kind of points in, I can see the point in both arguments. For and against that decision. Uh, so yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that, and I'm going to end this one here. Until next time. Take care.